love you on the news. See? That's what I said, I love you on the news. I appreciate that. Give us three ways we can get that swag of baby face. And the Oscar goes to Timothy. Oh! Year 66 of the Grammys had everything and more. I don't think the character I was playing should have a song. Next time, we gotta get my man singing in the movie. Come on, bro, give me I'm something. Not, I'm not singing. I don't uh, even know how to sing. Yeah. Like, uh, I'll beatbox. You do your run to the board, I'm gonna do mine. Judge me on my run, all right? Here we go. Hey, hey, yeah, hey, 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 come on, man. That's hilarious. When are we getting some music from you? Uh, soon. I, I'm actually doing something every Tuesday right now called Tiller Tuesdays. How far away are we from the album? Uh, I turned it in yesterday. It's about love, it's about food. What else could you want? It's streaming on Netflix. Two chains, wow. Timothy. <laughs> I got one chain on set. I don't got two on right now. Tonight, you're throwing out the first pitch. Are you nervous? There's some jitters you got going on? I'm hella nervous. You see how long my nails are? <laughs> what can we expect? How you been preparing for this? I've been practicing in my living room. Just, you know, the grip. Make sure I throw it without breaking the nail. What do you want this generation to take away from your work you did all those years ago? Um, wow, that's a good question. Uh, to never take no for an answer. I gotta wonder, how lit are y'all actually getting doing the tapings of these shows? Because y'all look like y'all having fun for real. We are having fun for real. How much are we going to get to see you dance to Usher tonight? A lot. A lot. There's going to be some TikTok viral moments out here? I don't know. People can do what they want, but I'll be dancing. You've been on SNL for almost 20 years. So do more people know you more for SNL or Keenan and Kel? It depends on the person, you know? Like, most of uh, the people that resemble myself. <laughs> what would you say to Know me, me from what Keenan and Kel. <laughs> you know? Um, people with a little melanin on yeah, them. Yeah. But talk to me about what does it mean to have this generation recognize you still? I think that's the probably the coolest thing about it is that, um, as you say, this generation is that um, I've been able to make it, you know, through all these years and still have people that are still interested in the music that I do and still want to work with me. And, um, and I think uh, for any musician, that's kind of like the, the peak. That's the thing that you reach for is always to kind of be respected in that way and um, to always be able to be part of the conversation and at least be able to add something to the conversation and not necessarily totally forgotten. And that's, um, you know, we grow up with all our heroes and we always want to work with them and uh, you don't always get that chance to. And so it's kind of fun to be actually someone's hero and people actually get to work with me. Do you think the versus with Teddy Riley kind of changed the game for you with this generation of musicians and fans because that brought you to a different digital audience. We're talking on the day that Derek Chauvin was convicted of murdering George Floyd. When you found out the news like just moments ago, how did you feel about it? You know, I felt like it was the beginning of change. You know, um, Amanda Gorman had just said, you know, victory would be if George Floyd was still alive. You know, the fact that we're, we're still living, thinking, you know, are, are we going to be next? Who's going to be next? That, that, that's living in fear. That's not quite, we're not quite there yet, but I, I'm hopeful for the future now. I, I definitely will say it, it gave me a little bit of hope. Was it a moment of jubilation for you? Like, what were your emotions like? What were you was, stirred up inside? It was more so relief. recognize this melody, you probably saw the movie Babylon, and Justin Hurwitz is the man who wrote all of its music. After winning a Golden Globe, he could take home an Oscar for Best Original Score. He came here to Hollywood Piano in Pasadena to shop before he even started working on the film three years ago. This one's got a lot of character. He used multiple pianos from this showroom for distinct sounds in each of the songs featured in Babylon. Every scene needed to be, had to, had to have a different sound, and so I wanted to cast each of these pianos depending on what scene or what score cue they belong to. And superstar Brad Pitt knows just how rare it is to have a composer like Justin on his team. They had already worked out the music, so by the time we got to filming, we could use the actual music in the scene, which never happens. 